Hello, welcome back to our class. And this will be another class of statistics and probability, grade 11. Okay, so we will just continue our discussion about the T distribution. Last time, we already know how to find the T value, which will be the first step, and how to find the degrees of freedom if we have an, only one group or if we have two separate groups. Okay, so those are the things we already know about the T distribution. Okay, so let's just continue about this one. So our topic will be this. Okay, <clears throat> regions under the T distribution. Um, if you can still remember, T distribution, one of its um, characteristic, it also has a bell curve, right? So we also have the right or left and the right tail, correct? Or your right side, not, and then this one will be the bell curve. And one of the conditions or, yeah, one of the characteristics of the T distribution, if we have a larger, okay, larger, what do you call the one? larger sample data, which is maybe maximum of 30 is because that will be the maximum for the T distribution and it will become the normal distribution, right? So that is that will be our main topic for today, okay? Now, so these are our main objectives. At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to properly locate T value in the T distribution table. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko last time na gagamitin natin para makuha natin yung probability ng isang problem. Okay, so properly locate the T value in the T distribution table. Sensya na mga ng process. And then, <clears throat> accurately compute for the area under the curve of the T distribution. So we will compute the area for the area. Kung ilang percentage ba siya. Andito ba siya sa left? Andito ba siya sa right? Kano ba siya kalaki? Kano ba siya kalaki? Okay? That will be our two main objectives. These are our essential questions. Okay. How do you interpret the area to the left and the right of the T value? How do you interpret a negative T value? Just like the first example that we did um, on the first video of the distribution, right? We have an answer that is negative 1.55. So how can you interpret that one if we have a negative? It's because in our T value or the T table, we only have positive numbers. So so how would you differentiate the area in one tail and two tails? How do you find the probability of T distribution? Okay, so this will be our main topic. Yeah, let us first review our second step, which is the degrees of freedom, okay, the number of independent pieces of information needed to calculate something. This term also refers to the number of free choices left after a sample statistic is calculated or the parameter, okay? So if, if we have only one group, we need to use N minus one. If we have two groups, then we will use N one plus N two minus two, okay? So this, that is only our reviews because we already know that one last time, okay? So this will be now our next step. This will be th the third step, right? After the T value, and then we have the freedom or degrees of freedom, and then we have the T distribution table. As you can see in the first example in our first video, ang sagot natin nakalagay yung third step natin is using the T table, okay? So it contains the critical values of the T distribution. The column headers are the T distribution probabilities. So it's 1.25, 0.025, or 1 or 0 0.5, something like that, okay? The row names are the degrees of freedom. Ito naman yung mga DF natin sa 
row natin, yung nasa heading natin, those are the distribution or the distribution of probabilities. Okay? So how to use the redistribution table? First one is locate the row containing the degrees of freedom. For example, our degrees of freedom is 19. So you need to find first 19. Okay? And from the row, so yung drawing ko dito ha? For example, this are the DF, and this will be our probability alpha. Okay? Sabi ka kulay para maging appropriate siya. And so, and dito yung mga 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, or something, something like that. Yung DF naman natin, of course, we have 1 up to 100 muna. Okay? Up to one, 1 to 100 muna tayo, okay? So, for example, we need to find first 19. So, tingnan natin sa DF, asan yung 19? So, for example, 19 is here. Okay, next one. From that row of the indicated degrees of freedom, locate the computed t-value. So, ano yung nakuha mo sa t-value? For example, nakuha mo is 1.96. So, you need to find it here. Okay, so ano yung mga t-value? These are the t-values. Okay, this part is the df, and this part are the probabilities. Kuha. So those are the probabilities, okay? And then the step three, get the corresponding column header, upper tail probability of the T value. So we have the, what we call upper tail probability. So yun yung mga positive numbers, okay? Kuha. So that will be the part. Inside will be our T values, the header, which, which will be the probabilities, and then this row will be our DF, or degrees of freedom. Okay, I will show you an example of this one. So this is an example of the upper tail, or T distribution, upper tail probability, okay? So we have here the DF, yeah, one to 15 more that. And then these are the probabilities, right? And these are the T values, okay? So for example, uh, ang nakuha mong probability, eh, ay, ang nakuha mong probability, ang nakuha mong, uh, ang nakuha mong, tawag dito, T value, ang nakuha na ako. For example, ang nakuha mong T value is 2.764, okay? Ang tinatanong is, what will be the probability? So, tignan mo lang siya dito. Ang probability natin is 0.01. Or that mean that is only how many percent? Hmm? How many percent? That is only 1%. Tama? Is it 1% or 10%? 1%. So, that's only 1% of probability. Ano yung kanyang degrees of freedom? Ang degrees of freedom niya is 10. Naroon naman, given yung probability, given yung standard or degrees of freedom, mahanapin mo yung t-value. So, madali lang siya. You just find it here, yung kanilang pinaka-center or pinaka-crossing, which will be this one. This will be the t-value. Okay? Or, given yung t-value mo, and then given yung probability mo, hahanapin yung degrees of freedom. So, what will be the degrees of freedom? Of course, just find it here, and we have 30. Okay? So, that is kung ganun kadali lang yung hahanapin natin. What if we have a problem? Okay? So, medyo ma-iba yung ating gagawin. So these are the continuous um, part of our T distribution table from 16 to 30 and then from 40 up to 1,000. I just 1,000 naman na. Okay? Ayan. So let's do an example first. 
eh paano ba i-manipulate yung ating T distribution table. Okay. For example, in a T distribution, what is the area under the curve that is to the right of T? What, what is T? This will be our T value, right? Which is 2.093 and with DF or the degrees of freedom, which is 19. So, ang titignan natin kung maran tayong part na nandito, given yung given given yung isa dito at given yung isa dito. Okay? So, ano hanapin natin? Hahanapin lang natin yung nasa taas. Okay, let's see kung paano siya gagawin. Solution. By using the t-distribution table, we will see that the area to the right of t or that the what we call t value is 2.093 and with degrees of freedom which is 19 is 0 0.025. So yun yung nasa taas. That means maran tayong 2.5%. Yun yun yung nasa right. If we have a bell curve here just like this, ang hinahanap natin is right under the curve but is to the right so here ito yung part na kinukuha natin okay so we have the 0 0.025 so paano nakuha yon let us first see the t table and so we have 19 as our df right <clears throat> and we have here our t or the t value so madali lang siyang gawin so, pagtapatin nyo lang na ganyan. And ano yung katapat nyo ang ating t-table? Sa taas. So, this will be our answer. Right? So, very simple. So, yung video natin, maybe it, it will take only 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay, natapos na yung lesson natin. Okay? So, it's easy. So, if you know how to use the table, it's easy for you to find the answer. Kahit mag palbrek ka rin pa na yung mga given. Kung ito yung given, at ito, hanapin yung degrees of freedom. Easy. Kung ang given, ito, tsaka ito, hanapin yung probability. Easy. Okay? Kung ang given, ito, at tsaka um, ito, ang hanapin mo lang, degrees of freedom. It's 8. Kung ang given mo is 11, degrees of freedom, and then 0 0.4, the probability, hanapin mo yung t value. So, pagtapatin mo lang sila. So, ito yung line. Ito yung line. So, we have here the answer. As simple as that. Okay? Next example. A sample size of 25 was randomly selected from a normally distributed population for a statistical study. After using the t-statistic, the researcher found out that the area to the right of the T value is 15%. What is the T value? So, ang nawawala naman si T value. We have a sample size. So, meron dalawa nawawala eh. Correct? It's because we only have a sample size. Correct? So, wala yung ating DF. In the given si DF, Hindi rin given si t-value. Ito lang yung given. So we need to find this too. But our main focus is we need to find the t-value. So let us find first the degrees of freedom. Okay? So para na si degrees of freedom, we have two formulas. If we have only one sample size, then we will just use n minus 1. If we have two sample sizes, we have this formula, n1 plus n2 minus 2. Now, which um, formula we need to use? Let's see the problem. It says here, A, that's singular, a sample size of 25. So a sample size of 25, that is only 1. Okay, so we have here 25 minus 1. And our degrees of freedom is 24. So after finding our degrees of freedom, which is 24, hahanapin lang natin sa t-table, sa t-table na row, right? So as in 24, as in 24, 
Okay, ito yung probability. So we will just find the number in between those two. Okay, so hanapin natin siya. So we can now find the t-value. And so I already explained that one. Since the sample size is 25, then DF equals 25 minus 1, which is 24. So uh, now we need to look at the row containing the DF24 and trace the t-value whose upper tail the probability is 0 0.50. And so we have here the DF 24 and our area or the probability and which is 0 0.15 or 15 percent and then we can now find their t value so the answer is 1.059 okay no need to use the formula there's no need to use the formula if we have what we call the area in the bell curve in the uh what they call the one the degrees of freedom. But if we don't have any area given, then we will use the formula. Okay? As simple as that. Okay? So therefore, the T value is 1.059. Okay. Now take a screenshot for this one, and this will be your activity for this lesson. See, it's easy. Feeling ko na, na, na 10 minutes lang tayo or nasa 15 minutes lang yung ating video today. That's super easy. Okay? So, if you want to print yung t table natin, kulit nyo, I will just send this screenshot here. Kasi, nag-search ako, nag ako kanina ng mga t-value distribution, medyo magulo siyang tignan. So, mas maigi is I will just take a screenshot dito sa ating uh, PowerPoint. Send ko lang yung picture sa inyo. Para yun lang gamitin ninyo para sa exam. Okay? Is that clear again? I will just take a screenshot for the t-table here up to 1,000. Nakuha niyo yung one, up to 1,000, di ba? So, yung screenshot na yun, isa-send ko na lang sa inyo via messenger para yun yung nagamitin ninyo for your exam this coming Thursday, Friday next week Ada. Ada? Okay. okay for this one so this will be the end of this lesson it's super easy so piling ko may makakawan na sa inyo this final exam hopefully Okay. Ayan. So I will now stop sharing and uh, magpapasa pa ako ng mga ng next na lesson ninyo. And then kung kaya ko siyang ituro ng kaya ko, kaya ko pa siyang ituro para madagdag sa final exam nyo, then I, I, I will. Okay. So possibly mga isa pang video siguro. Isa pang lesson. Kasama ng TV distribution. Para medyo Maraming maraming na kayo na ikasamin. Okay? So, see you again next time. Bye!